What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. As always, I'm sorry if it sounds like there is a frog in my throat, um, but I am not feeling too good right now. But I'm still trying to get these videos out to you guys. Um, sorry if there's a little bit of a gap in between them, <clears throat> but I'm trying to let my voice heal up a little bit. Um, but as you can see today, guys, we have a, another set of base reviews. We are going to go back to Town Hall 8 because um, I still don't have enough Town Hall 10s to do a base review on. Um, so if you are a Town Hall 10 and you want your base reviewed, um, <coughs> get some other Town Hall 10s to send them in. And once I get five of them, I will do a base review for it. But as you can see, we are on the first base today. It is Germinator 101. He is level 71, Town Hall 8. Um, and he has a pretty interesting base. I actually uh, like the design of it. Um, he seems pretty well upgraded. As you can see, his um, wizards are all upgraded to max 1, 2, and 3, as well as his mortars 1, 2, and 3. Um, his cannons are getting there. Um, he still has uh, one right here, two, and three that he needs to upgrade. Oh, there's another one up here, four. So he does only have one of them max, but hey, that's perfect because that means that he went for the splash damage first, which is what I always say you need to do. Um, go splash damage first. Um, so you do still have some stuff to upgrade, but hey, I mean, that's always a possibility, right? <laughs> so you're doing good. Um, looks like you're working on your walls as well, which is awesome. Um, I do like seeing that these uh, wizards are triangulated. Um, as well as these air defenses are triangulated. <coughs> the only thing about the air defenses is that they are, um, it makes a really, really tight triangle, as you can see. Um, these are a little bit close together down here. Um, so, I don't know, maybe I, I would consider bringing the, um, the wizards over here or something. I, I, I don't really know. Um, that's the problem with long bases like this as you can see it's very very long um, it's hard to spread things out good enough but you know you've done a good job for the shape of your base so um, that's not too that's not too big of a deal um, they are a little bit close but it's okay because they do still cover the majority of the base um, I do like to see these spring traps right here and right here as well as up here and up here for the Giants so that is awesome one thing I do notice though is that you have this spring trap right here and this spring trap right here um, if the only troop that's gonna go directly for that is gonna be a goblin um, I don't know if you know this or not but goblins are fast enough to disable spring traps um, sometimes they get caught sometimes they don't <coughs> it just depends um, so I might think about um, taking maybe one of these walls, one of these walls, filling that in and then putting another um, another trap right here or something like that. Or you can even put some inside up here at the top. But I wouldn't put them next to that, um, next to that storage right there. Um, it looks like you are doing pretty well with the uh, layout of things. You do have three archers up here, um, which is, <coughs> excuse me, a lot to have up in the top. Um, but you are doing good with, you have cannon, archer, cannon, archer, and then all of these. Um, I might consider bringing this archer tower out to right here where this cannon is, and then bringing the cannon inside. Um, I would definitely consider doing that. But for the most part, your base looks pretty good. Um, I wouldn't change too much about it, but we're gonna move on to the next base. It is Zahair, I believe is how you would pronounce it. Look at this, guys. This is a really, really good maxed out base. Um, you have a whole bunch of walls that are looking really expensive. <laughs> I'm actually upgrading mine right now, and it is a pain. Um, I do find it interesting that you have all of your elixir in the middle. I guess that's because you are maxed out on it, so you want to protect it. Um, <coughs> you are research, you're researching hog riders right now, so you're probably just saving that up for another research, maybe Pekka's or something like that. Um, but I do like the layout of this base. It looks really, really good. It kind of reminds me of my hurricane base design. Um, you have, where is your other, so this wizard's out here upgrading. Um, I believe that it's out here because it is upgrading. Otherwise, I would have it further in. Um, I wouldn't have your wizard uh, vulnerable like that. So 
I imagine that's what you're doing with it. If not, I would definitely consider switching these to the cannon and the wizard. Um, you do have your mortars in a triangle as well as your air defenses, which is awesome for covering the entire base. So great job with that. Um, it looks like the majority of your defenses, <coughs> excuse me, are maxed out. Um, actually, it looks like all of them are except for the Teslas and uh, this wizard tower down here, of course. Um, I believe that all of your archers are. This one looks like it's. Uh, still needs to be upgraded um, but other, and then this one up here obviously but you're doing good man you have a whole bunch of resources and you're upgrading well you're definitely on your route to being a maxed out Town Hall 8 which is going to be awesome so good job I uh, don't really have too much to say I like the design of your base you have your clan castle in the middle which is awesome especially when you are in an active clan um, you're protecting your resources very well. So, yeah, you really can't say too much else. Awesome job. Uh, keep it up. Uh, next, <laughs> we have Matt, who is a Town Hall 8 as well, obviously. Um, I believe this is like a, a Ping Fao type base design. Um, I haven't looked at, looked at their designs in a while, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, or at least it kind of reminds me of it. Um, good to see that clan castle in the middle. Um, and it is good to see these triangulated as well as these triangulated as well as those triangulated. Um, the air defense is pretty vulnerable where it is right now. Um, so I might, <coughs> excuse me, consider trying to bring it in somewhere. I mean, I, I don't really see anywhere for it, but I, I guess if that's the only place that you can have it, that's fine. But um, that really does make this whole side of your base vulnerable to attack. Someone can just um, lightning strike this and get it out of the way and then uh, drop down some hog riders and take that out with just like five of them. So that's the only issue with that. Um, it looks like the majority of your stuff is upgraded. Actually, you can still upgrade. Let's see. Can your Teslas be upgraded still? I'm not sure mine aren't even maxed. It looks like you're almost there, man. You do still have your walls to work on, but you are definitely further along than me, so grats on that. Um, keep saving up those resources so that once you <coughs> start the upgrade to Town Hall 9, you can have full resources once you get there, um, as well as builders. But your base is definitely awesome. The design is really, really good. You cover everything well. Um, one thing I do notice is... Um, yeah, no, you actually do a good job of doing cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer. Look at that. Perfect. So good job with that. Spreading out your point defenses, um, your resources, especially your elixir is really exposed for a farming base, which I find interesting. Um, <coughs> I know this is a famous base or something, but I don't know. I might consider uh, changing things up with the layout unless it's working for you, but otherwise it looks awesome. Um, this is another one. Now this guy is obviously new or rushed to Town Hall 8 uh, because he's only level 58. <laughs> um, and guys, I'm sorry if I sound out of it. Um, like you know I'm sick, so yeah, we'll just keep going. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> um, so it looks like things are laid out a little awkwardly around the base. Um, you do have your wizards in a triangle. Um, your air defenses are almost in a triangle. Your mortars are in a triangle. They're doing a good job of covering everything. Um, it just looks a little awkward. This is a huge open area right here. Um, <coughs> but I guess if you are uh, pushing for trophies, and that's it's fine that you have um, this open area and everything spread out. Uh, Oh gosh, but obviously, man, my only tips for you really are to upgrade your mortars first, um, as well as your wizards. I can see this one's going to be done in a day, but I guess it's probably already done at this point in time. Um, your air defenses are looking good. Uh, you do still have a lot of upgrading to do with your point defenses, but as I said, you're new to Town Hall 8, so you're doing good. I like the layout. Um, these double walls really aren't necessary. I might consider taking some of those and um, doing something different down here because it's really open in there, uh, even though this little portion is here. 
Um, I just wouldn't do. Uh, <coughs> I just wouldn't do double walls. You can probably find something a little more effective to do with them. Um, but overall, man, you're looking good, even though you are relatively new. Keep pushing. Um, keep upgrading those splash defenses, and then working on your points. All right. And then now, guys, we have the last one. It is Brutus the Fat. <laughs> he kind of has a hurricane-style base as well. Um, you are level 68, but you still have a lot of upgrading to do. I imagine you just donate a lot. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just, I don't know, start talking about it. Your clan castle is right here in the middle, uh, which is good. I do like seeing that. Um, this... Uh, air defense up here is pretty random. Um, it doesn't really look like it belongs up there. I might consider, shoot, I don't know. It just doesn't. It doesn't need to to be that vulnerable um, because someone could just lightning strike one of these in the middle and then take that out with hog riders or something. So I would try and find a way to move it in, even if it's just right here to this archer tower or in here to this cannon. But then you would have to move your other archers somewhere else or your other air defense somewhere else um, you have split up your mortars and your wizards very well as you can see makes a little star so good job with that um, you've done a good job as well of spreading out your point defenses like I always talk about in pretty much all of my videos um, they're a little sketchy up towards the top but that's alright um, you're doing a pretty good job at it uh, let's see what else um, you have your traps up here, which is awesome. I feel like this base, did we did we do one like this already? This one's kind of like it. Yeah, this is almost the exact same. See that? <laughs> um, obviously, uh, Zayers is a little more upgraded. <laughs> um, but I thought this looked a little bit familiar. It is cool to see those traps in there. Um, because the giants who come in are going to have to go over those boom, boom, boom. And then they're going to have to walk all the way over here to this cannon while all of these defenses are shooting at them. So that's a really good spot for traps. You've done it all around the base. Awesome job with that. Um, as long as you keep those in there and you stay active, then you're going to be good. But for the most part, this is a good base. You are working your way up there. Um, as always, work on your splash defenses first. That means your wizards and your mortars and yeah just keep on working but guys thank you so much for watching as always y'all rock i'm sorry that i'm sick <laughs> i really am it sucks <coughs> but hopefully i'll be better in the next couple days um i'm, uh, I'm going to record that q a video pretty soon um so if you guys haven't asked any questions go check out that video i posted it a couple days ago and we can see what we can do but guys thank you so much for watching um you guys rock. I really do mean that. And as always, guys, keep calm and clash on, all right? I'll see you later.